Are you all right? I'm trying to learn how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle. Well, it doesn't sound like I know how to whistle. <laughs> Fuck these guys. Come here. Jam from the other side. Here, boost me up. No, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we gonna open it? <sighs> All right. Give me your foot. <clears throat> now, just open it. Nothing else. <clears throat> sure thing. <clears throat> Careful. Let's say we get a car from this buddy of yours. Then what? 
Well, then we go find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother? And more importantly, he was a firefly. He know where to take you. Oh, okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. Hey, look. <laughs> gnomes. Yeah, those are gnomes. Man, I had an art book filled with these. I always thought they were super cute. <laughs> Not fairies, though. They creep me out. All right, man. Did you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who'd... What was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. <laughs> I'm never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. That's Bill's handiwork. Anybody else live in this town? As I know, it's just him. Man, this is kind of sad. What is? All this music that's just sitting here. No one's around to listen to it. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. Jesus! Whoa, Nelly! 
What the hell was that? That would be one of Bill's traps. Your friend a bit paranoid, maybe? No, that's putting it lightly. What's the deal with this guy? Well, he helped us smuggle stuff into the cities. He knows how to find things. Well, let's hope we don't blow up trying to find him. Just watch your step, you'll be fine. Teach me how to do that. Jeez, feel good with the bow? I reckon he is. Let me use that. I'm a pretty good shot with that thing. How about we just leave this kind of stuff to me? Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. It's all clear. Come on up. All right. Use this.
Now listen. Bill ain't exactly the most stable of individuals. So when we get there, you let me do the talking. You understand? I understand. You gotta be clear on this. He, he don't take too kindly to strangers. All right. Bill's a good guy. He just definitely needs some time warming up to you. That's all. from a heart attack. Don't worry. I got this. Jeez, that thing scared the shit out of me. Well, while we're here, let's search the place. Fucking scary. You think they ever found each other? How the hell would I know? Well, I'd like to think they did. Stand back. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. Those things are kind of awesome. There's one way to do it. See that? Get back.
Come on. Just stay close. Stupid traps! There, that fridge, it looks like that's a counterweight. Okay. Cut that rope, and it'll bring me down. On it! Thanks for the heroic 
Bugs and all. Ah, uh, Ellie. Hey, what are you... Joel? Bill! What are you doing? Bill! Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around all right. and get on your knees! Don't test me! Just take it easy. Any bites? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean! If I see so much as a trick. Ow! Stop! Son of a bitch! Are you done? Am I done? You come into my house, you set off all my traps, you damn near break my shooting arm. Who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business, and we're here because you owe Joel some favors. Oh. You can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. Is this some kind of joke? I'll cut to the chase. I need a car. Well, it is a joke. Joel needs a car. Well, if I had one that works, which I sure as hell don't, what makes you think I'd just give it to you? Huh? Yeah, sure, Joel. Go ahead. Take my car. Take all my food, too, while you're at it. By the looks of it, you could lose some of that food. You listen to me, you little shit. No, fuck you! You handcuff I me. need you to shut up. All right? Whatever favors you think I owe you ain't worth that much. Actually, Bill, they are. Well, it don't matter, because I don't have a car that works. But there is one in this town. Parts. There are parts in this town. Meaning that you could fix one up. All right. If I'm going to do this, there's some gear I'm going to need. All right. It's on the other side of town. Now, you help me go gather it, and maybe I can put something together that runs. But after this, I owe you nothing. That's fine. A couple of days from now, we'll probably be dead anyway. Good. Follow me. Whole goddamn town's booby trap. Best stay right on my ass. Can't miss it. Knock it off. All right. Whatever supplies you may want or need, I suggest you grab them. All right, thank you. Ellie, take a look around, see if there's anything we can use. All righty. On everything you need? We're good. All right, Ellie, come on. Don't leave the door open. I got it. We have to cross to the other building. Up the stairs. Let's move it. Just stay with me. Can't believe you agreed to this bullshit, Bill. What you should have done was just left him back there. You weren't kidding about him. Yeah, he's one of a kind.
Let me take a look around up here. Nothing in there that I need. Go ahead, take whatever you want. Thanks. What kind of trouble are you in? Where the hell's Tess? It's just a job. S simple drop-off. What are you delivering? <laughs> a little brat. Haha. <laughs> Fuck you, too. <laughs> oh. You know, I, I hope you know what you're doing. Are you kidding me with this guy? So where are we going, Bill? We have the safe house. More of an armory. <laughs> Wait. I thought we were gonna fix up a car. We? You know how to fix Bill, it? Bill, just... Like I said, <laughs> what I need's on the other side of town. Now that side I don't ever go to, because it's filled with infection. We're gonna need more guns. Inside. Oh, I need to take care of that. Relax. So, you didn't answer my question about Tess. I mean, I thought the two of you were inseparable. <laughs> She's busy. <laughs> yeah, sure. Busy. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like this might be trouble in paradise. Yeah, something like that. All right. Why don't you fix one of these cars? Oh my god, you're a genius. I mean, the whole time, why on earth hadn't I thought about fixing one of these cars? Okay, don't be a dick. Their tires are rotted and their batteries are dead. Are you done? Can't even begin to think what the inside of the engine block look like. Only ones making new car batteries are the military. Infected! Lock and load. <laughs> From the warehouse okay. into the east. Now he's talking to himself. Again. And then it'll take you. Bill! Joel! This way. <clears throat> and up we go.
picked a hell of a place to hold up, didn't you? You know, as bad as those things are, at least they're predictable. The normal people that scare me. You of all people should understand that. What does that mean? Nothing. You sure that gate's gonna hold them? Well, I locked it. They don't have a key. So which way? We're here. It's in the cellar. You don't touch anything. And you close the door? <laughs> Let's gear up. Uh-uh. What? I need a gun. No, you don't. Joel, I can handle myself. No. Just stay here. It's fine. Just wait around for you two to get me killed. Well, this goes on record as the worst fucking job you've ever taken. Yeah, it's up there. How in the hell is Tess okay with this suicide mission? It's actually her idea. Really? Well, the broad's not as smart as I thought she was. But, fucker. Seriously, you gotta take that kid back to where you found her. I can't just take her back. Then send her packing, let her find her own way. Look, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. A partner. Somebody I had to look after. And in this world, that sort of shit's good for one thing. Getting you killed. So you know what I did? I wisened the fuck up. And I realized it's gotta be just me. Bill, it ain't, it ain't like that. It's bullshit. It is just like that. Hey! What'd I say to you when we walked down the steps? What'd I say? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. Don't touch. God damn it. You keep babysitting long enough and eventually it's gonna blow up in Bill. your face. Can we please just get on with it? Here. Let's get on with it. All right, before we go any further, I got something I gotta show you. What you got? New toy from the toy box. <laughs> this is a nail bomb. You gotta be really careful. This thing blows, it shreds anybody standing nearby. So we got shotguns and bombs. The hell are we doing with them? Well, every few weeks, this military caravan rides through town. I assume they're out looking for supplies. I mean, you, you'd be amazed at the shit that they overlook. Anyway, a few months back, they were rolling through and they get overrun by this horde of infected. They were all over the truck. It plows right in the side of the high school. Still sitting there with the battery in. So we take that battery and we put it in another car. Bingo! I wanted to get it, but it seemed too dangerous with all the infected on that part of town. But fuck it. Joel needs a car. Hey, what if it's damaged? Nah. Those trucks are like tanks. It's just sitting there. Actually, my work.
This is a good spot. to help us out. Kid, I swear to God, if you took anything... Hey, man, I don't need any of your shit. Trust me. Joel, you are keeping an eye on him, right? Like a hawk. <laughs> 